Hey YouTube, Coppersan here. Legion and Link skill mules are important and valuable, but your free time, that's even more valuable. That's why today I'm going to show you how I train a Link skill mule from level 10 to level 210 in about 8 to 9 hours on the regular server. Link skill and Legion mules are characters whose only purpose in life is to support your main character. It's okay to give them less attention and to skip content in favor of just getting that character to a higher level. To make sure that we do this as fast as possible, we prepare as much as we can to help us save time. When I want to level up faster, I always prepare almost all bossed items except for a pendant because we can just find one from Horntail. And skipping out on a pendant for now will definitely not come back to haunt me later. The Root Abyss set is pretty cheap to buy in the auction house if you cannot get spares from your main character. Everyone is at a different stage of the game, but try and get as much gear as possible. I like to dress up all my mules in the Root Abyss set because Star Force increases Legion power and if I keep undressing my characters to transfer their gear to the next one, I lose out on generating Legion coins and you can never have enough Legion coins. Another important preparation step is bossing for additional reward points and generally just using any method to get as many reward points as possible like for example monster collection. We need about 4 totems, a double EXP card and a hybrid teleport rock from the reward shop. In total I need about 200 million for star forcing, purchasing gear and buying mastery books and other goodies for this character. I'm not that rich so I'm trying to save money where I can in favor of losing a bit of time. And I might have kindly forced my fiance to help me out by giving me some good old holy symbol on our bishop for the earlier part of this video. Everything ready? Set and set. Wait, wait, what? Okay, so because I skipped out on the tutorial and follow-up quest, I apparently don't have a secondary which I need in order to use skills. <laughs> We're losing time already. If you're playing on a regular server and assuming you already have some Legion Link skills built up, go to the shaded dump site and savage terminal like right away. Regular server monsters are just built different and level difference doesn't hit as hard as it does in Reboot, so we're going to abuse that to level up quicker. I prepared EXP boost as well as monster park potions and of course we have a cash shop double EXP card active. I have no EXP buffs from events on this character or any MVP or Pendant of the Spirit. If you can get any of those, you can level up a lot faster than I did. But regardless, in this map it takes about 2 minutes to go from level 10 to level 30. We're leveling up a Luminous today and our job advancement is just a quick dialogue which is perfect to save some time. Our next training destination is also in Savage Terminal. This time we're gonna go to Mr. Hans's Layer 3. In this video I won't go over alternative spots that much because I think the ones I'm at right now are the best ones for leveling up fast. But if the maps are too busy or you aren't strong enough make sure to check out our training spot guide which should appear in the card right about now. At level 41 we move over to the Wild Borderlands Empyrean and we train here until we reach level 50. The Hybrid Teleport Rock is super useful to save time traveling between training spots so make sure to get one. Once we level up to level 50 we go to the Copper Sandrakes and we stay here all the way until level 60. I was already online for about 5 minutes before we started leveling and we had some delays as well but despite that we're still reaching level 60 in under 30 minutes. The actual time spent training is probably closer to about 20 minutes. Next up is my favorite training map, Stereo to the Sky 1 and Orbis. I usually stay here until around level 72. Training a Luminous is actually pretty rough on this map. He has like the worst teleport of any mage class and his third job attacks are rather slow and don't really have a lot of range, but we'll power through. Once we reach level 72, we train at Sahel 2 in the Nihil Desert. This is a nice flat map and actually if you aren't one-shotting monsters yet like I am right now, it's because of the level difference, don't worry, it will get better later on. But items like Onyx Apples can also help a ton with increasing your damage for a nice 10 minute duration. You can buy them in the auction house or get them through the Amoria party quest. Or if you played Maples Tour Europe during the time premium mini dungeons were around, you'll probably have about 2 million of those lying around somewhere just like me. At level 87 I went to Rash in Lifra and 2 level ups later I went one map to the left to the Dark Rash. Here I found a rune and I used it to level up a few more times but I didn't want to wait another 10 minutes for the cooldown to disappear so I went to Zakum at level 92. If you are playing on reboot, wait with going to Zakum until around level 98 or ideally level 100. It will make the find a lot easier and the damage reduction will be a lot less. I train it until level 110 at the Blood Harps at Lifra. Make sure to also equip your prepared boss gear for some additional damage and star force. I didn't prepare any weapon actually so I'm just using whatever I found while grinding. At level 110 go to gatekeepers in the Ludi Clock Tower. Reflection training is very nice here. You can also go to the dual ghost pirate or the Thanatos map which is two maps to the right. Leveling up in this map takes about 20 seconds per level up thanks to our EXP boosters. Perfectly balanced. Because I didn't prepare a weapon we will slow down at one point but the pace will pick up again as soon as we reach level 150 and we can equip our prepared root abyss weapon. 
Oh, and by the way, if you are enjoying today's video, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe for more Maple Story content. I stayed in this map until I reached level 125, and I was one star for short of going to the Junior Cerebus map in the deathmine, so we had to do some quick upgrading along the way, so miscalculations there. Make sure to also either buy or prepare mastery books to level up your skills. As you might have noticed, we're training exclusively at Star Force monsters in the regular server. Even though the monsters have more HP, they give a lot more EXP. Whenever you can, train at Star Force monsters for faster leveling in the regular server. I couldn't actually go to Curing Tower yet because I need to equip my level 150 gear to get enough Star Force, so I went to the Dragon Nest left behind to and leave for the last 10 levels to reach level 150. Because Luminous is an amazing grinder in 4 job, this map is pretty nice for him as well. And finally we can get this party started. New gear, we max out all our skills and we're ready to destroy some floating notebooks in the Curing Tower. By the way, if you already have some Legion, make sure to use the EXP potions that can be bought from the Legion store. They give half a level worth of EXP and a 30 minute EXP buff, pretty useful to use as a buff and to get some free EXP along the way. We're literally one level into grinding at our new spot and then disaster strikes. Our first totem expired, thankfully we have three more. So far we've been online for 2 hours and 6 minutes and we reached level 151. We pop our second totem and off we go. At level 161 I had a quick stop over at Horntail to get my pendant, but when the world needed it most it never dropped. So I bought one in the auction house and then I went back to the notebooks to uh, quell my anger. Literally nothing beats the rates of those notebooks, so we're staying here until we reach level 170. We star force our new better pendant, which I like more than the one we would have gotten from Horntail anyway, and we go to our next stop, this map in the Omega sector. Those grays are amazing EXP, but do require a hefty 140 star force. So you have to have enough gear and money to Star Force to actually go here. Don't forget to use your Legion level potions and we train here all the way until we reach level 186. Then it was time to go to the Forsaken Excavation Site too, a highly contested map in the more popular servers. But we managed to find one with a high burning. The Butterfly map in Fox Valley or the nearby Pillaging Boar map are pretty good alternatives as well. In 3 hours and 38 minutes of total online time we reached level 190. And after about 50 minutes more we completed the remaining 10 levels and reached level 200. I had a rune active that I didn't want to go to waste so I didn't go to scrapyard for the final 50% but I did it later to get a small boost. And as you can see or I should say as you can't see my maple story is starting to memory leak already. Some bottles are missing and while doing the fifth job advancement even more stuff started disappearing so unfortunately I had to relock. There goes my time. After our fourth job advancement I started up the vanishing journey quest line and I still have my totem so I grinded as much as I could between quests like I would activate a rune and I would continue to train in that map until the rune ended. But once we hit the boat quest I had to relock again because I couldn't go to the next map <laughs> once. Once we completed the quest line, we reached level 201. I personally really dislike training between level 200 and 205. It feels so weird, man. It's like the old level 30, level 35. It's, you got all these new skills, but you're still pretty weak. To get level 205, we train at various places. Which maps are viable actually really depends on your class. I like this map with the blazing air dust and the first map with the tranquil air dust. Combined with most of the quest line, it took about one more hour to reach level 203. Because my totem expired, I did my dailies and a few runs of Monster Park. The Vanishing Journey Monster Park gives some decent EXP at this level. And thanks to the GUI vent, I had enough symbols to upgrade my Arcane symbol. We're about 3k main set now, and while voicing I realized I never even got my emblem, I just skipped all the quests. I didn't get lucky with my node stones, so I had to buy some additional node stones in the auction house and disassembled them to craft the Descent Holy Symbol node stone. This gives an additional 20% bonus EXP and I highly recommend getting this one as soon as possible. I trained Totemless for about 70 minutes to reach level 205, I wanted to save my final totem. If you can train with a totem, of course your speed will be even faster here. At level 205 are Lord and Savior, Reverse City Unlocks, which will help us train so much faster after we complete the questline here. But first, another relock, because if MapleStory was a ship, it would have already sunk because of all these damn leaks. We complete the questline and go to T-Boys Research Train 1. Playing on an empty server is pretty dope, always high burning, but there also are some disadvantages. Like we didn't get any MVP until we reached level 207. <laughs> We would have gone so much faster if we just had MVP earlier, but uh, it wasn't meant to be. You can also buy special 1.5 time EXP MVP buffs in the auction house, but like I mentioned earlier, I don't have that many mesos, so I didn't want to spend all my mesos on those. And just like that, our journey is coming to an end. After being online for about 9 hours, we did it and reached level 210. That's including short breaks every few hours, but hey, that's another level 3 link skill done. It took about 2 hours and 30 minutes additionally to reach level 210. If you're even better prepared than I am, this will go even faster. I was still missing quite a bit of gear and EXP boosts. And that was all for today. That's how 
now I did it. As always, many thanks to our members for making this video possible. Thanks to Niels de Konek, Rama Waar, Sebastian Hanoi, FLX, Rylians, Terry Kim, Varese, Dries Sumker, Wiley, Francisco Sousa, History Canon, Backspace, OTI, CMAC, Safronex, Lonzo, BG Extremes, Andrew Nichai, Brandon, Frank Bouguet, Ziggy Deer, Flidiot, Beamer WT, Knife Suit, Chen125, Cloudfix, Gusus Rodriguez, Sir QQ Morse, Froggy11, 32655, Grayson Lee, Ricer RU, Brandon Cam, Vyra, Bruno H, Trevor, Yuki436, Afterlord underscore MS, Sinferlito, Ratius, John Mann, Lucky Beats, Justin Vale, Silvio Nato, Stevie Zhang, Yuruski TV, Soli Shinauda, Heo Pan, 2 Joshua Alvera, Striker Elk, and Nok MSS. Thanks for your support and thank you all so much for watching. Stay safe and happy mapling.